Okay, so this is the, the final video I'm going to be making regarding the avatar file. So you can swap your, cam your face for an AI with any picture. The third video I'm going to explain from start to finish on a brand new computer, Windows 11. Uh, and we're going to go to over the specs and we're going to see the problems that we're going to have. The reason for this video is because I see a lot of comments from people that are having different errors and I want to address them here. Now, this laptop is an i is a Ryzen 5. It has a six core CPU, so not that powerful, eight gigs of RAM and an RTX 3050. It's important that this, you take this as a base model. I don't even know if it's going to work. I'm going to do everything from scratch as if you have a laptop, just buy it from the store and then you try to install the software. OK, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to a browser and you're going to look for Techno Premium, which is the company. And then you're going to look for this repo here. And the link will be on the description of the video. Just click on that link and this will show up here. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to go installing every step that I explain here. So first of all, requirements that need to be done, 16 gigs of RAM or eight, it may work in 8 gigs. This laptop has only 8 gigs, so we're going to try it here. 6 core CPU, which we have, and an RTX video card. It cannot be, you have to try, and I don't, I never tried before, but you have to try, uh, you have to make sure that it's an RTX GPU, like a 2080, 3080, or 4080 uh, GPU, a 40 series, 30 series or 20 series GPU. It's not going to work probably on the GTX 1080 or something like that. Also, AMD GPUs, this is not designed to work on an AMD GPU. This is only for NVIDIA at the moment. So we scroll down here, very simple, everything. And then the first thing is telling me is I need to install Git. For that, you're going to click here, as he explained, and you're just going to download that file. It's downloading. Then we're going to go back. And then we're going to download Miniconda Python 3. Just going to open on a new window. I'm going to download that as well. And same thing, we're going to install CUDA for your GPU. We're going to click here. What it's going to do here is going to send you to the NVIDIA website. And here you're going to select Windows. Everything is selected for you, but you're going to select Windows, X64, Windows 11, EXE file. You scroll down and you download. Keep in mind that this file is going to take 2.5 gigs. And depending on your network, it can take more time. In my case, it takes less than one minute. OK. So we'll wait for the download to happen. Okay, so we download all the files and then we're going to go back to instructions and we're going to see what else needs to be done. So first of all, before jumping to this step here, we're going to go to the folder where we download everything and then we're going to install what we download. We're going to start for the Git, which is the first one that we need to install. Double click on it and then just follow the steps of the installation. You don't have to select anything there. Just click next, 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 next until the end. OK. OK, just uncheck this and you can click finish. Same here. We're going to start the mini conda now. Here was the same thing. We're going to click next, next, next. You can remove these two things. It's just going to open tutorials for you from Anaconda, which you don't need it. Click finish. And now we're going to install the CUDA drivers. Very important. Just click OK and continue the installation. Okay, so after we installed the CUDA drivers, uh, all the requirements are completed, and then we're going to follow and start installing these things. So press Windows key and search for Miniconda, open the app, and you will have a terminal. Then copy paste the comments below. So we're going to go here, we're going to type Miniconda. And we're going to look for it, it's this one here. So open it up, and then we're going to start copy paste the commands before. 
the, com the commands that we got here. So I copy this one, Control C on the keyboard, and then Control V, enter. Then we're gonna navigate inside the folder, Control C again, then Control V. Okay, so now we're gonna keep going down and then important download the model before installing. Okay, so we're gonna download the model. Let's click on this. And we're gonna download the file. This is basically the deep learning model that allows you to uh, do things on the computer that you can uh, swap your face and move around, all kind of things. This is the model that we're downloading online. And then we're gonna download the model and then we're gonna copy the file, this one here that we download to the folder, which is this one, You're just gonna put them inside on that folder. So let's do that. We're gonna go here. We're gonna down, the model is down here. We're gonna copy, Control C, and then we're gonna go to, uh, well, with the file download, in my case, probably it's gonna be in C, users, RF, because that's my name, and then here's the file, okay? In your case, you're gonna be, go to this PC, your PC, go to your uh, C disk, then you're going to go to users, going to go to your name here, it's going to be your name or whatever username you have, go inside and inside you will have the folder that we download, just go inside and copy paste that file that we download, okay, so now we have this file inside the folder, let's go back to the file, to the instructions, now we're going to install the app, so we're going to go back to here, to the anaconda and then we're going to go to this location probably you're already there if you follow the steps so now we're going to continue and do this one here which this one is the script which can install all the important information for you okay so we're going to call control v and then we're going to click enter so it found conda and then now it's going to start uh, start the installation of stuff so we're going to install a bunch of things just wait for it uh, we need all the staff to work to make the software to work, okay? Okay, so it finished test, it finished installing the packages and this took, in my laptop, it took like 10 minutes. So you have to be patient. Sometimes uh, you're gonna see that the wheel is just running around, but it's nothing's happening. It will happen eventually. Just wait for it, go get a, a cup of coffee and get back and it will be done. Okay, so now that we finished that step, let's keep going here and see what the next step will be. So it looks like we finished all the steps and then finally launching the app. So we're gonna go, gonna copy this command, go back to the terminal. Remember the terminal is your friend here and then we're gonna copy uh, that command here. So room, Windows Pad. We're gonna run that and let's see what's gonna happen. Now, like I said, this is the first time I'm installing the app uh, on this brand new computer. So I may have some problems and this is the same problem you may have. For example, here I'm copying that command and it's not opening. So let me close it again. And this time let me go to um, the Anaconda again, Mini Conda. Every time you want to launch the app, you have to go uh, and launch Anaconda. And then we're going to navigate to that folder again. Just copy this command here. CD is the command for navigating folders in, uh, in the terminal. So you go inside the path and then you're going to run the command to start the app. So we're going to do run windows and then tap and it's going to fill it up for you but if you want to know it's run underscore windows that bad we're going to press enter on it and then it's going to start uh loading the app so it's loading the predictor which is the model and then what's going to happen is it's going to install a bunch of packages uh, it may take some time and once you uh, finish the installation it's going to show up this thing here now what happened is the laptop in my case i have blocked the camera, I'm gonna unlock it. And as you can see here, it's gonna look for my, my webcam is really, really bad on this laptop. So he's telling you focus on the camera, get into the square, and then we're gonna press X on the keyboard. And as you can see here, it's loading and it's working perfectly fine. This is running on an RTX 3050 and it's doing the job pretty good. And keep in mind that I don't have the computer connected to the wall. If I connect it to a wall, the performance will be even much better, okay? So this is just great here. And then now what I'm gonna show you is how you can replace uh, the picture 
basically on different uh, pictures that you can find online, a picture of somebody else, your picture, or uh, how you can switch between them. Like for example, I'm using this one that is uh, by default. If I type number two, it changed the pictures, what is on the folder. There's not too many of them. And uh, you know, you, you can scroll down. I think there's like nine, actually eight of them. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to the computer again and I'm gonna change the folder so I can upload any picture. And that's the last step for you. So we're gonna close it here. Then we're gonna go inside the folder. Remember it's on this PC. Go to your C drive, user, your username, and then I was verify here. Here you go to avatars and here you got the pictures. Okay. So what you're gonna do is let download a picture online. For example, this website generate pictures of people. Uh every five uh, generate picture of people that doesn't exist. Try to use an adult picture. So I'm gonna download this one, for example. Just click, right click, say image, and then download. I'm gonna save that picture here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to my download folders. I'm gonna copy that image that I download, Control C. Go back to the folder where the avatars was. So we go here and then avatar five avatars. And then I copy the picture inside this folder. Okay, control V to copy that picture. Now what's gonna do now is we have to map the names. So I'm gonna name this one Einstein. So the same name. So when I use it, it will be Einstein. For that to work, I just go and delete the Einstein picture. Just gonna copy the name, control C. And I delete it, you can back it up, but in my case, I'm just gonna delete that picture. Okay, and then I'm gonna name this picture how the other one was named. Okay, perfect. And that will be the picture number one. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reopen the app again. To open, we're gonna run the same command. We're gonna go to the folder. If you close it, you're gonna do Miniconda, then go to the folder and run the same command again. So same thing, the square is gonna open. And then you're going to press X. And then you see now that I have this picture of this person that I download that we couldn't move before. And now we can move it. This is the battery is draining out and it's running in saving mode. So even with that, the fishing on the 3050 with only four gigs on the GPU and eight gigs of RAM is running perfectly fine. If I connect it to a wall, performance will be great because this GPU, the 30 series, the RTX GPU has uh, deep learning tensor cores inside which give you uh, this kind of performance. Okay, so you can go closer and go back. In my case, I'm using glasses and the camera quality is so bad with the light. But if you have a better lighting and uh, you don't use glasses, it will be, this will be much better. Okay, so we cover everything in this video. We cover how to install the app from uh, start to finish in a brand new computer. Remember, this computer bought it from uh, Best Buy, so it was nothing installed. I followed the steps on the GitHub page that I created, and it works just fine. Uh, the few requirements that I specified there need to be implemented, and no, it doesn't run on anything else. Don't try to run it on a Mac. Don't try to run it on an Android or iOS device. It only runs on a Windows 11 PC, with uh, the requirement that I explained. Six core CPU minimum, eight gigs of RAM, and an RTX 30 GPU. In this case, that is the lowest RTX, is the RTX 3050 with only four gigs of RAM, and it works just fine. Okay, this is gonna be the final video. You got the three videos to work with. Uh, I think that's more than enough, and I'm planning to have other videos regarding deep learning, but this is the end. I hope you enjoy, guys. Leave the comment below. That really helps the channel. Like the channel, like the, the, the video, because it's spread to more people, and, and keep tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.